Well, dusty them all packed and days to get in the horses. Uh-oh. There goes their vacation. Who's that from? Marshal Hammond in Canyon City. What does he want? You remember Reno Red? Sure. He's a, supposed to be the head of the gang that robbed the Denver men. That's right. He's the one. But they never could prove anything on him yet because they haven't found the gold. And now Reno Red's been murdered. Well, what do we got to do with that? Find the killer? No, it's more important to find the gold first. Marshal Hammond figures it's buried somewhere on Reno Red's ranch, near Stony Bend. God, Calm down, Alibi. I told him we wouldn't start on this job till after we came back. After all, this might be our last vacation. Anyway, for the three of us together. Better after we get back on our vacation. I think not. You move the on. I'll be out in a couple of minutes. If we don't find that hidden bullion before the wheels prove it and the ears move in, we'll never find it. Well, maybe it's not here in the house at all, Ram. It's got to be. If you knew Reno Red like I did, he wouldn't let that bullion out of his sight. Well, anyway, Chuck, you keep up the ghost noises. If we can't keep the ears from coming here, we can scare them off when they get here. Yeah, like you did those ranch hands. You won't have any trouble. I was still working on that colored cook. I'm expecting him to hightail it any minute now. Well, let's get back to town. I got some business to take care of. I'll see you at the saloon. Bye. Let's get out of here before that colored boy gets back. half and half to some girl from the east and his nephew. That's Hank Tavers. Right. I stinked a copy of the will. Read this. <laughs> well, can you beat that? They've got to learn to play the organ. Anyway, we know for sure now there's something valuable hidden on the ranch. And you can bet it's bullion. I'm kind of thinking Hank won't show up at all. Why not? Why, ain't he wanted by the law on a half a dozen charges? Oh, that won't stop him. Hank never worked around here. He's a stranger in these parts. Hank never gets on that ranch with some. Danny, you know where Hank's working down in Mexico. It's up to you to get down there and stop him from reaching Stony Bend. Yeah. And while I'm going, you fellows will find the gold. I won't see an ounce of it. Don't worry, Danny. We'll keep an eye on Ram. All you got to worry about is stopping Hank Travers. He'll never get to Stony Bend. Chuck, you better ride out to the Triangle W and get them the ghost noises working, in case any strangers show up. Yes. Enlisted? No, but I look for him, too, the first time he gets to town. Yeah, and I reckon you won't be far behind you. You're not a kidding. You know how I felt ever since the main was sunk. <laughs> Yippee! Six more Redskins. Let the dark. Five. All right, five. You're next, Alibi. How about a little smart and fancy roping? I don't see why I can't just sit and rest. Oh, you don't want to forget how to rope, do you? I sure do. I'm sorry I learned in the first place. Keep your mind on your work, Alibi. <laughs> what do you think you were doing, roping an eagle? <laughs> but that was a right pretty throw, David. And a right neat and pretty catch, Dusty. <laughs> this practicing's a lot of nonsense. From now on, I'm having a vacation. Oh, I reckon 
somebody didn't believe you. You better get your horse alibi. Alibi, have a look at that fellow. I'll follow him. See at the cabin. All right, Davy. Who was the shot, your partner? I don't know. I just came up from the border. On my way to Stony Bend. You better not try to talk, fella. I got her. My name's Travers. Hank Travers. What were you going to Stony Bend for? To claim a ranch. A Triangle W left me by my uncle. Well, what's his name? Abe. Abe Roberts. I ain't seen him for years. But he had plenty hit out. Hit out? Yeah. He did trust banks. Well, then the man that shot you wants to do himself. It's the way I figure. Papers. Here. Lawyer. We better keep this alibi till we find out more about this hombre. Davey, if that hombre you caught won't talk, I reckon we'll have to find out for ourselves what's wrong with Triangle W. I think we can deliver Hank Travers to the ranch safe and sound. Now, don't tell us you turned magician, Davey. We told you it's Hank Travers or plumb dead. Yeah, but who's to say you aren't Hank Travers, Dusty? Particularly when you ride in with that letter he had on him. You're getting smarter every day. Well, wait a minute, fellas. What about our vacation? Well, alibi, you better get into Stony Bend and kind of mosey around. Find out all you can about Abe Roberts and the Triangle W. First it's bank robbers, and now it's bushwhackers. Ain't we ever gonna finish your vacation? Come on, get riding, alibi. And look me up at the ranch. I'll be Hank Travers by that time. I'll get this bushwhacker over to the marshal at Canyon City. We better not keep him in Stony Bend. Get back to the ranch quick as you can, Davy. Well, be me longer than I have to. Good hunting, Dusty. Come on, get moving. Good riding, fella. Goodbye, <laughs> both of you. Five. 
Ready to pin. That's a lot of nerve from the cards I see. Whoa. That long neck of yours is going to get us in a heap of trouble. Something must have happened. Danny should have reported back before this. Yeah, he's had plenty of time to connect up with Travers. Something must be wrong. Deacon, you better trail down by the border and try to pick up the track. If Danny's in trouble, you can help him out of it. I guess you're right. I'll go down and see what I can find out. Chuck, you better get out the ranch like I told you and get them ghost noises started. All right. <coughs> Where'd you go? Where are you? Hello. Uh, are you the girl? Well, right now I feel like one. My name's Hank Travers. Uh, then you the second half. The second half of what? Uh, this is the first half, Miss Weston. Well, I'm sorry, but I don't get it. He means you're the other heir. Oh. Well, I thought I was the only heir. And so did I, till I saw Lawyer Clark in town. He told me the ranch belongs to you and me, together. You're not sorry, are you? Oh, no, no, of course not. You see, uh, I haven't seen the lawyer yet. He said Uncle Abe wanted us to be surprises to each other. <laughs> well, I could stand a surprise like this every day. <laughs> well, you know me better. You may change your mind. Cousin. Cousin? Oh, you're disappointed, are you? Oh, no, no, of course not. You see, see, I've never had a girl, but a relative. <laughs> you needn't worry about it, Hank, because we aren't really related. I'm only an adopted member of this family. Oh, well, I'm sure glad to know that. Who's playing the organ? Uh, uh, that's the ghost I was telling you about, ma'am. Maybe we'd better have a look. Coming in? Bring the bag, Sam. Yeah. Unless Mr. Travers has his there. Oh, no, no, they're not at all. And, uh, but they'll be here shortly. And Sam, when they come, you better put them in the bunkhouse. Yes, sir. Uh, Sam, tell me, who's the cook around here? Me? Oh, well, who's the foreman? Me? In other words, you do everything. Uh, yes, sir. I'm just a jack in the box. No, you mean you're jack of all trades. No, sir. I mean I'm a jack in the box. 
I'm always popping up on one job and sitting down on another. <laughs> you know, it's, it's mighty funny. I thought Uncle Abe had a lot of money. It seems to me there ought to be more help around here. Dan says he always had from 12 to 15 hands. But after he died, the men left one by one. They did? Dan said they were scared off by ghosts. I don't believe in it, but according to Sam, queer things have been going on here. Like what? Oh, strange sounds at night. The organ playing with no one around. Flickering lights near the barn. Sounds like barf. Well, I, I don't know what it is, but Sam's really scared. And the men didn't leave because they weren't paid. The lawyer attended to that. There's something mysterious going on. I think I know what you mean. Yeah, yeah, that's, that, that's him. That's who? He's downstairs now. Yes, that's him. That's who, Sam. Just go. Well, I'm going to pay that ghost a visit. How do you get down to the cellar? That door right there. Nothing down here. He's upstairs now. Wait a minute, John. Now, this is a little too much. You'll get used to him after a while. Maybe that's what Uncle Abe meant by that funny clause in his will. What was that? I don't believe I've read it. Part of it doesn't make much sense. Oh, what? Uh, Sam, are you a good cook? I was one. Well, we'll take it, Sam. Rustle us up some food, will you? Yes, sir. This is funny. In the first paragraph, it says he leaves the ranch and everything secreted thereon to us, providing they learn to play my favorite tune on the family organ. And further providing they are clever enough to protect which my enemies to gain will stop at nothing. Lawyer Clark wanted Uncle Abe to let him handle his property, but he wouldn't. I wonder what it is. Mr. Clark thinks it's money. He's a dangerous gang, he's after. That complicates things, doesn't it? If it's so dangerous, I want more men around here. Look where can you get me in? I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll write him to Tony Ben and post a notice. And I'll see Lawyer Clark at the same time. You make yourself comfortable. If you can. Aren't you going to stay to eat? If you live through it, I'll take a chance on supper. All right, pull up. Hi, Danny. What's this all about? Quit gabbing. Get my hands untied. All right, you on time. Uh, 
Now climb down. How's that, Eddie Deacon? serious about enlisting, Dave. The recruiting office is just down the street. Don't worry about your prisoners. They're behind the bar. Good luck, Dave. The marshal and I'll take care of everything. Now I'll get this letter to the boys pronto. Well, Benny alone gonna have to. Secrets hidden from me. Amazing. Oh, he can tell anything that's on your mind. Well, I'll better get guess what I'm thinking about. There's no guessing about it, mister. I'm psychic. <laughs> All right, I got to concentrate. I get the letter. It looks like the letter R. I get the letters R R. Does he mean Green or Red? Quiet, I got to concentrate here. You're thinking about somebody that's dead. Somebody named R. Oh, I get it. Roberts. So what? Reno Red and Roberts are all the same guy. Is that right? Do you know somebody named Roberts? I used to. Go ahead. Tell me what I'm thinking about. I can't get it clear. No, I lost it. No, I get it. You're thinking about his money. That dumb is too smart. Gosh, I'm getting a headache. Well, maybe you sort of overdone it, partner. We'll be seeing you again. Sure, I'll be around. All right, Yeah. Howdy, well, Sheriff. What's up? You know most everybody in these parts, don't you, Ranch? Wouldn't you, everybody? What? Well, my deputy's just brought in a dead hombre. No identification on him. I thought maybe he might know him. I'd be glad to take a look. You boys better come along. What are you about, Rick? Mighty short of help. See if you can't round me up some cow hands. Yeah, I'll do that. I need them bad. Say, he's looking for a job. Well, if you're interested, be sure and come out. I'll have a good job for you. How about me? Are you a cow hand? Oh, I've been a rover and a rider, a bulldog and a spider, a bronco buster, and a dynamiter. Yippee! I'm sorry, you haven't had... Thanks, I will. I may ride out. Be sure and do that. So long. Are you going to work out there? I may, if they pay off in cash. The last bird that works there ain't stopped running yet. Oh, excuse me. Now, 
wish I was on to his game. He's too smart. Ah, uh, he's harmless. Well, now that we've solved for ourselves that Hank was dead, what's there to worry about? Well, the sheriff seemed right disappointed we couldn't identify the body. <laughs> Why didn't you tell him it was Hank? Because I wanted to give him something to do while we were busy at the Triangle W. Mm -hmm. Hey, look. Hey, Jim. Who put up that sign? Can't you read? Hank Travers. When? About a minute ago. He was a young, good-looking fella. Then that dead guy in the sheriff's office couldn't have been Hank Travers. Sure he was. I knew him well. So I'm going to ride out to the Triangle W and see who this is. Chuck, while I'm going, you go to the sheriff's office. Tell him Hank Travers is out at the Triangle W. Well, I sure will. I'll also have him check up on his missing men. Well, here's one. Let's try this one, the Red River Valley. Is that it, Sam? Nope, that ain't it. Well, we'll try another one. Let's try Clementine. In a cavern, in a canyon, excavating for a mine, lived a miner, for a miner, and his daughter, Clementine. Was that it, Sam? No, sir. Well, if you were Mr. Roberts' cook all these years, you ought to know what his favorite tune was. Uh, I know I'd know it if I heard it. Oh, all right. Well, let's try another one. You better see who it is, Sam. <laughs> what kind of thing is that? Howdy, Mr. Travers. I'm Alibi Terhune. I came over to see about that job you're telling me about. Well, I'm glad to see you. This is my cousin, Helen Weston. Cousin? <laughs> I kind of thought maybe you were married. <laughs> Not yet. Say, have uh, you ever herded cattle? Sure. Herded them, branded them, trail rustlers, run a chuck wagon. Chuck wagon? Hi, I'm hi, I'm Mr. Tavis. I need the rest. Well, I reckon we'll give you a try. Uh, uh, what was the name? Alibi. Alibi. Alibi Curry here. Yeah. Well, that's a nice name. Come on, I'll show you the bunkhouse. Kind of big man to be playing with dolls. Well, what'd you find out? Plenty. I've got a big surprise for you. A big surprise? What is it? Now, before I tell you, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Explaining? Me? Yeah, you told me before we started on this Reno Red case, we'd finish your vacation. That's right. <laughs> Quit pretending. You knew all the time that Abe Roberts and Reno Red were the same hombre. The same hombre? Oh, why, of course not. Why, alibi, of course. Am I dumb? Well, that explains a lot of things. Just the same, you messed us up. You know, I bet Marshal Hammond's laughing up his sleeve right now on how he roped us into this Reno Red case before our vacation was over. Wait, that's a part of my surprise. <whistles> Who is it, David? No, it's somebody I met on the way over here. Why, Rex, you old sidewinder. Boy, Dusty, does this seem like old time. Am I glad to see you. Where in the world did you come from? Well, I just left Dave over at Canyon City. He rushed me off down here to find you, boy. Well, here, sit down, Rex. Have a seat. Here's a little letter for you. Well, oh, good. Doggone it, Rex. This is really like old time. Let me see here. Dear Dusty, Teddy Roosevelt needs volunteers. I know you and Alibi will understand if I leave you to join Uncle Sam in his biggest roundup. Rex will be a top hand with you on this job. 
Good luck to you and Alibi, Dave Sharp. And there's a P.S. for me. Alibi, watch out for woman trouble. Cause Rex is real competition. <laughs> You know, uh, you know, I knew, uh, I knew he'd sign up the minute he saw a recruiting sign. Yeah, and you'll do the same thing. Now we got a job to do first. After all, like the marshal said, this is government gold we're after. Well, Marshal Hammond turned Hank Travers' body over to the local sheriff, but he didn't tell him who you and Alibi are. Well, good, Rex. You're here then to stay with us, are you? Well, I, I promised Dave I would, but you boys really want me? Do we, do we want you? We gotta have you, Rex. We sure do, but you better lay off a dusty girlfriend. Listen, <laughs> I never promised anything. Are there any girls around here? So you come on over to the house, and I'll introduce you as a new hand. And don't forget, I'm Hank Trevor. All right. <laughs> <laughs> My cousin, Helen Weston. Well, I'm certainly glad to know you. How do you do? And that's Sam. He did all the cooking for Mr. Roberts. Howdy, Sam. Don't stop playing. It sounded swell. We heard it as we were walking over here. Sam's been trying to help me decide which was Uncle Abe's favorite piece, so I can carry out the instructions in the will. Sam, haven't you thought of that tune yet? <clears throat> no, sir. But I know it's something about a bucket. Something about a bucket. Uh, I can play, Miss Weston. And they used to tell me that I was pretty good. Oh, well, please do. Yes, please do. Thank you. your worrying, Sam. I beg your pardon. You mind? No, nothing not. Thank you. You're welcome. Here's a little song you might like, I hope. <laughs> You know, Miss Weston, I sing too. Yeah, but nobody's asking you to. I believe Hank Travis lives here. Howdy. What can I do for you? Why, you old piebald maverick, huh? Hold it out on your old pal, huh? Well, I, uh, I haven't had time to go calling yet. Oh, uh, this is my cousin, Helen Weston. Howdy, ma'am. One of my hands, Rex Leach. Hello. Howdy. That's Alibi Terrigan. Yeah, we met. I'll say we have rats, old boy. I was uh, sure surprised when I heard you'd taken over this range. Yeah, I was a little surprised myself. <laughs> say, tell me, how's things down in Mexico? In Mexico? Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> oh, they're fine, fine, if you like chili. Sounds like we've got more company, Hank. 
Howdy. Good evening. I'm looking for Hank Travers. That's me. I've got a warrant for your arrest. There must be something wrong, Sheriff. There's nothing wrong. I know, but I... Hold it. Take his gun, Joe. There's some terrible mistake, Sheriff. Mr. Travers only got here today. I can't help that. He's wanted for bank robbing, stagecoach stick-ups, and murder. Well, you see, Sheriff, I'm not... <coughs> You're not what? Well, I'm not guilty. We'll let the court decide that. Take him away, Joe. I'll ride along, Hank. Maybe I can be of some help. Good night. Well, why didn't you do something? That would have only made things worse. Tell him, Alibi. Now listen. Are you and Sam afraid to stay here alone? No. Well, Rex and I have got to go to town. We'll get him out of jail if we have to tear it down. Good. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. You'll protect me, won't you, Sam? Hmm? Oh, what? Oh, oh yes, ma'am, Miss Ellen. But before we go, we'll let you in on a little secret. Can you keep a secret? Uh, I think I can, sir. You'd better. Well, Hank Travers isn't Hank Travers at all. That was Dusty King. Now, uh, Hank, the fact of the matter is, Hank Travers was killed, and the marshal sent us down here to get the lowdown on what's going on. Come on, Alibi, let's start riding. Yes, sir, it worked perfectly. The sheriff locked up this make-believe, Travers. Chuck, you better get out to the ranch and scare off this girl and the rest of them cowhands. Ed and me will get this faker out of jail and find out what his gain is. <laughs> hey, you know it might be a good idea to see that he never stands trial. You're doing, don't you? It's a jail delivery, and I won't stand for it. Get them keys and stop talking. Lucky, Sheriff, just to get a flash wound and a conk on the head. Yep, I guess I was. I reckon this ought to prove to you Dusty was telling you the truth. That's right. That's good enough for me. Here's what you can do, Sheriff. Well, what do you want me to do? You get together a posse and ride on to the Triangle W. When you get to the house, don't come in. Just surround the place quietly. I think that way we can give those hombres a taste of their own medicine. Fine. Now let's get going. Sam! Sam! Yes, Miss 
Mrs. Helen. Did you make that noise? No, ma'am. I didn't make no noise. Ooh. There it is again. It must be that goat. Well, that settles it. You're going downstairs and smoke out that goat. Me? It won't do no good. Why? Carl, you come up here and start playing on that thing. No, no, you won't. Because while you're downstairs, I'll stay up here and play it. Yeah, I'm uh, Go on. Uh, I sure hope you is right. someone trying to scare you. Well, that ghost blew my candle out. Don't be silly, Sam. There's no such thing as a ghost. <laughs> no. Make room. Wait a minute. I'll put a stop to that ghost. Here and watch that organ. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I sure hope you catch him. to have a look around. There's not a person on the ranch. Let's start on the organ like Rance said. All right. You know, I used to play one of these things before I mastered the accordion. Yeah? Hey, Chuck, what are all these things for? Oh, they call them stops. Stops? Now, if you want to play a tune that sounded like a violin, you'd pull that one out. And if you want to play a tune that sounded different, well, then you'd pull out a different combination. Yeah, a combination. Like on a safe, huh? On a safe. Hmm. Say, Ed. You ain't so dumb. Steel. Say, they don't make organs out of steel. No. Ed, I think you've got it. Now to find the right combination. Oh, we can't do it that way, Ed. There's a thousand different combinations. We only knew what Reno's favorite tune was. I think we'd have it. Sam the colored boy knows. Yeah, but we let him get away. Oh. Well, let's pull them all out. Maybe we'll be lucky.
Western girl. Ah, oh, she's safe. And the colored boy took out the parts unknown, scared still. Have you look? I'll say. This organ is a steel safe. Listen. Well, listen, what are we waiting on? Well, it's just like any other safe. You can only open it when you have the right combination. And these pull out to make the combination. Get it? What are you doing out here, Sam? Them goes done caught Miss Helen in the cellar, and she done plumb disappeared. You mean to say you ran away and left her? Uh, no, sir, Mr. Alibi. She left me. Then I left everything. Let's tie our horses off over here and sneak in the house on foot. Rex, when we get to the house, you better take the kitchen door. Alibi, you take the front door. Be better, Mr. Dutch, if we all take the cellar away. That's where the ghost has got Miss Helen. Let's get moving. Come on, Teddy. What stops would you pull if you played this tune? That's always been my favorite piece. Let me see. Tells you right here on the music. Three, five, nine. No, that ain't it. All right, fellas, now separate and wait for my signal. unless we know Reno's favorite tune. Oh, there's no use monkeying at these things any longer. Chuck, get an axe or a pick. Get something. I'm going to split this organ wide open. Right. All right, now reach. All of you. Alibi Rex. Get their gun. It was right nice of you to get me out of jail, Rand. Now I'm going to help you win it. Funny, ain't you? Dusty, it looks like the Reno Red Gang is sort of peaceful like. Well, looks like you've done a pretty fair job. 
Uh, that's it. Now I remember, it was a little brown jug. A little brown jug? Well, Sheriff, if I'm not mistaken, you'll soon have the bullion they robbed from the Denver Mint. Yeah? Yeah. Here it is, the little brown jug. You stop two, four, and eight. Look. There you are, Sheriff, the bullion from the Denver Mint. Now that the job's done, Miss Ellen, I reckon we'll be riding. Well, Mr. Alibi, if you fellas ever need a good cook, don't forget to send for me. Good cook? Why, you couldn't boil water without sorting it, you hammerhead. <laughs> Before you go, I want to thank you boys for everything you've done for us. Why, Helen, don't mention it. It was a pleasure. And another thing I want to tell you. Hey, fellas, they're stealing your horse. Oh, pardon me, Helen. You know, that, that was just a gag. I, I don't like to say goodbye with so many people around. You know what I mean? <laughs> Hey, you know they're stealing your horse, too, Dusty.